Well, first it was just healing, and that was a good six months from when I first got surgery. Uh, usually knee injuries don't take that long, but because cartilage actually can't heal itself, they had to you know, attach a bunch of stuff in there to do it for my body. Uh, so six months later, I started working on really light re rehabilitation that took about maybe two months for me to start like jumping again and doing what I like to do at a very mediocre level. And then I'd say it was about a year till I was really confident and almost back to the spot I was prior to the injury. Well, I feel like where I left off when I got injured wasn't where I wanted to be. I still, I still had a lot of goals then. So that was definitely it. Um, I was just thinking, how could I, how could I compete in these competitions and meet all these great people if I can't even, you know, do what I want to do to the best of my ability? So I decided to, you know, get my leg as strong as possible. I'd argue with this leg's probably stronger than the other now at this point. Well, when I'm not training, I'm watching people train so I can see what I want to do next time. Uh, lately, I've been training about four to five times a week. Some weeks I take more time off depending on how sore or if I like strain something, but uh, usually it's about four to five days a week, a couple hours a day. There's a gym in San Jose called Sessions. It used to be, used to be called Bay Area Movement. Before I moved down here, a lot of who are my friends now, got super good at that gym, and they're my age. So now, after moving down here, I get to train with them a lot, and we're all similar skill levels, so we push each other. And uh, it's kind of competitive too, uh, so sometimes there's like lighthearted competition, and I think that's the reason most of us progress so fast. I think since I was 12, I decided to start competing in like the adult groups because the youth, youth stuff got a little easy in some, some regions uh, that don't have bigger youth communities. Uh, so a while ago I, I participated in a competition called Project Underground in the United Kingdom and I decided to compete with the adults and I managed to get third place and you know that was a great experience because I was like okay maybe I can start like really showing up people that are, that are a lot stronger and older than me. Both my parents are super supportive. They help me put together this really great like little facility down here so I can practice safely. They always take me traveling when there's a cool competition. It's especially if it's a place they like visiting as well, like London or something. And they're always super supportive. A little worrisome, but usually usually all good. There's a lot of people with the goal of having a sustainable income from what they enjoy, which is, you know, is, is a good goal. But for me, I'd like to keep it as something I do for fun. With that being said, I have a lot of fun competing. So I have, I have a goal of winning like Art of Motion and like NAPC. Art of Motion is a competition run by Red Bull in Greece and NAPC is out in Vancouver and there are these huge parkour competitions that uh, I love watching every year and I dream of winning myself someday. Uh, to the younger generation that's starting to figure out what I figured out a long time ago and starting to enjoy uh, this sport, I just say, you know, keep having fun. Don't worry too much about, you know, the um, the content creation side of things, like train what you enjoy training without thinking about what other people are doing, and uh, stay safe, keep your body healthy, stretch, <laughs> yeah.